In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your Ethernet network adapter for the gaming in 2022. And guys, welcome into my channel Ypex. And if this is your first time here onto my channel, so please make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video. So guys, let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, I'm going to show you some best settings for your network adapter. So for doing the setting for your network adapter, you need to go directly into the window search and search for the network connection or go into this view network connection option here you will go to this kind of window you need to simply right click on your ethernet go into the properties and here you will find out the ethernet properties you need to go into this configurations button and from here you will find out the advanced settings the driver detail events and the power management first go into the power management tab and make sure to guys uncheck this box which is the allow the computer to turn off this device to save the power so we need more performance out of our internet so therefore we not want to save the power for guys reducing the performance so make sure to uncheck this box because this will reduce our performance so now once you done the settings now go into this advanced tab and now here you will find out few settings which you need to follow exactly which i'm going to show you so first of all here is option which is the speed and the duplex this is the most important guy settings you not need to change the settings just simply set it on the default which is the auto negotiation and guys set it on the auto so once you're done now you need to go into this interrupt moderation set it on the disable then another setting which you need to find that is the flow control go into this value set it on the disable so guys once you follow the settings now simply click here on this ok button and now close out this window and now guys you need to download few software one is the tcp optimizer and second is the dns jumper which is guys also help you to optimize your ethernet so first we are going to guys use the tcp optimizer on our pc so how to download the software guys you need to simply open the link from descriptions and it will guys take you directly here onto my this website once you are here on my website you need to go into the search bar and search for the software tc optimizer and if you are watching this video right now so you can also scroll all the way down and here you will find out this option which is the recent post and here is the tc optimizer free download otherwise guys if you don't find this software here you need to go into the search bar and search for the tcp and press enter and you will find out the software on your website now click here on this article scroll down Click on this download button, it will take you onto the Google Drive. Click on the download button and download the software on your computer. So guys, once you download the software, here is the interface or the logo of this exe file of the TCP optimizer. You need to simply double click here and you do not even need to guys install the software on your computer. And guys, most important, always run the software as the administrator because right now I just simply double click on the software and just I run it. So here it is showing me the message I need to run this as the administrator writes. Right click here, run this as administrator, click yes and guys here again we need to wait and once this lorab is complete then I'm going to show you some best settings for this software. So guys here is the interface of the software and right now we are in the journal settings and guys there is no any more settings here you need to change. First thing which you need to guys do here you need to set it on to the custom option and guys use this slider and set it on to the 100 Mbps. Once you're done with the settings, now you need to guys go for the TCP Windows Auto Tuning and set it on to the normal. Then guys, this is the setting for the congest control provider. Click on this drop down and select the CTCP. Once you're done with it, now you need to go straight toward this checksum of loading and guys set it on to the enable. Once you're done, now you need to click on to this advanced settings option and now again you need to follow every single settings which I'm going to show you here into this option. So guys the first setting which is the max connection per 10 server you need to set it on to the 10 then here is the max connection per server you need to set it on to the 8 then here is the local priority set it on to the 4 5 6 and 7 you need to guys simply follow all of these values now go for the max cyns retransmitting so guys set it on to the 2 then go for the next settings first here is settings for the kos do not use nla so you need to click on drop down set it on to the optimal one and guys here is the gaming tweak which is the most important and guys also a lot of people on the youtube guys and they also a good tweakers but guys they are showing you some wrong settings in the tcp and for that guys you are getting some kind of the lag or the packet loss in your games so what you need to guys do here you will find out the setting which is network throttling index 
guys the people show you guys to set it onto the disable f f f f but guys you don't need to change the settings just simply set it onto the default then here is the system responsiveness they show you to set it onto the gaming zero but guys go with the optimal and this is one of the best settings for you now go for this next setting which is the tcp ack frequency go for the disable one then tcp no delay set it onto the enable one then guys go for the tcp uh, delay ack ticks set it onto the disable zero guys once you're done with the settings now you need to go for this last setting which is the max user port and guys use the same value which i'm using here which is the 65534 and into the tcp time wait delay you need to type here simply the 30 once you're done with the settings now click here on this apply button you will get this kind of window you can also take the backup of this file like simply click here on this backup now click ok and it will take some time it is also guys created here the backup file if you want to restore it back so guys you can easily do it so once you're done now you need to simply close out this software here it also asks you to guys reboot your system but we are not going to guys reboot it yet because we need some more settings to do so now close out this window now guys guys you need to open up my website from the description thing down there and now you need to download and other software which is the dns jumper and that is actually help you guys finding out the best server which is near to you and near to that game which you play so you need to again open up your browser go on my website and guys go into search bar again and search for the dns and press enter from your keyboard you will find out here another post which is the download dns jumper lower your ping click here on this post scroll down you will find out here this download button click on this download button it will take you onto the recognized website click on this subscribe on youtube and you need to guys subscribe to my this channel then turn on the bell notification once you're done now you need to just wait for three to five seconds and this link will be automatically unlocked onto this website on your pc click on this unlock link button and your dns jumper zip file will be downloaded now simply guys drag this folder or the zip file on your desktop now close out this window open up the dns the file drag this folder on your desktop open up this folder and guys here is the dns jumper.xv file you not need to install this software again simply double click here click yes and guys here is the interface of the software so first of all you need to select out here the network adapter which you are using so i'm using the realtek pci gb family controller uh, network adapter so you need to select out your adapter then go for this option which is the fastest dns click on this button and you need to click on this button which is the start dns test so guys finding out the best and the nearest dns server for your pc for your network so guys it will just take few seconds so guys you need to wait for it so guys once this testing is complete it will just take around 10 to 15 seconds so now you need to guys find out here the best server on which one guys you are getting the last millisecond response time so guys here is our azu cloudflare software guys and the 22 millisecond is the lowest delay we are getting right now so simply right click here and click on this apply dns button and guys here our dns successfully changed how you can check it out this changing of the dns guys you need to go into the search bar again search for the network connection settings go for the ethernet go into the properties and find out here this internet protocol variant 4 double click here and guys here our dns is automatically changed onto the best dns which is available near our location now click on this ok button click ok again and close out this window and now guys simply one time restart your computer then launch whatever game or whatever guys program or whatever website guys you want to visit and guys hopefully guys you will get you will get best performance out of your pc so guys please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification drop a like on this video and leave your honest opinion about this video in the comment sections so till let the next video peace out